flip the rules around and you would hear no end of this on Twitter whatso fucking ever. Hello, this is Mara Jade and I'm back with another video, and I think the title pretty much speaks volumes for itself, so let's just dive right into this article so we can get a gauge of what Turfenstein 3D is all about. So without further ado, here it is. A transgender programmer has launched Turfenstein 3D, a game in which players kill women critical of transgender ideology, otherwise known as TERFs. Promoting killing women. Moving on. Using the acronym TERF, which stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist, and is used to denounce women who don't support trans individuals, because God fucking forbid women have their own opinions. Even if they support feminist ideals, so it doesn't matter if they support feminist ideals, no, you need to support every fucking thing under the planet, and if you don't, well then you're my enemy, according to these people, pretty much. Transgender developer Sandra Moen created Turfenstein 3D, a title that, in essence, is also a parody of ID Software's Wolfenstein 3D. They owe ID Software a fucking apology. Touted as a first-person shooter, about infiltrating gender fascist facility and disabling their weapons of mass destruction, the game's target audience is assumed to be aware of the transphobic pressure that exists to transgender people by the media and TERFs. While development has been documented on Moan's Twitter profile, the game's first trailer was revealed in 2022 and launched on Steam in January of this year. I'm going to pull up Steam so you can see what this game is pretty much like. Moen describes Turfenstein 3D as offering LGBTQ, AI plus transgender and feminist themes of gender critical people and what a post-war apocalyptic world would look like if gender fascists won. If gender fascists won, i.e. pretty much anyone who does not fall in line with the trans ideology. In this dystopian world, fascists have killed and imprisoned all transgender and queer people, subjecting them to harsh conversion therapy, imprisonment, and death. Can you say propaganda? You play as an escapee fleeing their detention center while you exact your revenge. Moen states the game brings to light the very real transphobic violence many transgender people face for just existing. How about, hey Moen, how about you promote your fucking game over in the Middle East? How about that? Promote your transgender ideology over there in the Middle East. See how well that works out for you. Openly admitting the game is designed to draw a comparison between gender critics and Nazi Germany, all enemies appear to be female or priests or guard dogs. Why the inclusion of guard dogs, I don't fucking know, but there it is. Banners and other decorations in the environment are adorned with the Nazi-style double X symbol, while blood splatters against the walls. Developed over four months, the solo product is one of many controversial games the developer has made, Moan boasts. Being able to artistically express yourself is a proven way to heal trauma and possibly also move on. This game also hopes to achieve that for players who need it through gameplay that would stir up hidden and muddied emotions. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. This falls into the category of revenge fantasy. I would hazard to guess that this right here, this game developed by Moan, is pretty much deep down what she wants to fucking do in real life. What she would hope to be able to do in real life, but can't because it's illegal. Even the game's launch trailer prides itself on being the most hated game of 2022, showcasing alleged tweets from Twitter users mocking or condemning Moan's work. I can't read it, it's another language. While the double X of the enemies could represent the double X chromosomes that indicate a woman on the genetic level, yeah, because biology is racist and sexist or transphobic or pick a fucking ism or phobe. It's strikingly similar to the logo of Women's Declaration International. The group reaffirms women's and girls' sex-based rights and challenges the discrimination we experience from the replacement of the category of sex with that of gender identity. Christina Ellingsen, WDI's lead representative in Norway, took the illusion in shockingly calm stride when speaking to Redux. Believing Moan was clearly appropriating the WDI logo, she wondered how Moan would portray a top-level feminazi boss. This is, this is, oh my god, this is almost a rabbit hole. The representation of women's sex chromosomes as resembling Nazi ideology shows how far gone these men often are. She's calling out Moa and saying how far gone these men often are. Ellingson marked, mocked. Accusations that women who care about women's rights are feminine Nazis is nothing do, new though. 
Male threats of violence against women and girls in the digital sphere is obvious and ubiquitous. But to men who claim to be women, digital media is used for a kind of gamification of misogyny that is unprecedented, Ellingson proposed. She also cited banned browser extension Shinigami Eyes, which marks social media profiles that fall in the TERFs and transphobic categories. Redux notes, however, that Ellingson was under investigation by the police for stating that male-to-female transgender women cannot be lesbians or mothers. Were Ellingson to be found guilty, the Norwegian feminist faces up to three years in prison. Holy shit. So basically he's saying that if you go from male to female, you don't have the required plumbing to fucking be mothers. Nor are you technically lesbians because you were, you were male to start out with. Touting itself as a truly pro-woman, pro-child safeguarding platform in their about page, Redux also shows Moen's controversial history. They cite court records they obtained, reportedly involving Moen through with their though with their name is redacted. The records detail an incident where B, presumably Moen, experienced being harassed in the changing room by A, an unknown fem- woman, in July 2016 when she was spoken to after showering. The alleged incident took place at the CIS Sports Center at the University Moen was attending. A believed that her body was uncomfortable and that people like her should not be allowed to be in the women's wardrobe, despite having male genitalia. Alright? So not only does Moen is showering in the women's locker room, the, like, basically, still, and still has a dick. No amount of fucking documentation that says right here that Moen allegedly justified she was a legally, legally a woman due to documentation several months prior doesn't fucking matter. You still have a dick and you're going to make women uncomfortable when you're showering next to them when it's supposed to be female only. As such, the woman was allegedly investigated for harassment but was reportedly rejected on appeal. Redux also notes how Moen attributed pornography to identifying as a woman, previously being a transvestic fetishist and a cross-dresser. This is a this bitch is a piece of work. Holy shit! Speaking on the Trans Nord podcast, Moen reportedly stated, "I began to understand that I was trans when I came across pornography featuring trans women." God, how is this person not committed? I have never made the connection that penis means man. Yes, it, it really fucking does. Penis means man. You are a male. If you have a penis, you're a boy. If you have a vagina, you're a girl. Watch Kindergarten Cop. The male porn actors were women, but they had a penis. Then they, then, how are they women if they have a penis? No, they're, fucking Christ. I began to question, if they have a penis, how could other people know that they were girls when they were children? Again, watch Kindergarten Cop. That little kid has more intelligence than you do, Moen. And of course, they wouldn't know. So then I started questioning, what if I'm one of these pretty ladies in reality, Moen reportedly confessed. You are batshit and fucking insane is what you are. Redux further cited Moen's allegedly open interest in pornography and BDSM along with her game Spank Fury. Other games by Moen include Trans Agent X, a casual sci-fi action adventure bullet hell. After the gender wars... Trans people leave Earth to their own planet, and Earth being completely devoid of trans people could not survive because of it and annihilated themselves. Uh, pretty much, all the trans people leaving Earth for their own planets. Bye-bye, trans population. You can't fucking reproduce, you dumb fucks. Because the trans women don't have the required p- plumbing, as I stated, to be able to be mothers. And the trans men don't have the required fucking plumbing to actually shoot sperm into the women. So, hoorah, you just got rid of the trans population in one fucking go with that plot. Stunning and brave, you dumb bitch. Holy fuck. Players revisit the ruined earth and face ghostly cisgender foes as they seek an artifact. All enemies depict a narrative fragment of the treatment transgender people in Norway suffered from... I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce that word. I'm pretty sure if my friend Steve Kenobi uh, watches this video, he can tell me how this word is pronounced. Such as being denied treatment. Sure enough, enemies seem to ask the sort of probing question doctors would ask someone who wants to transition. Like this up here. You can't freeze eggs you don't want to carry yourself. Trans women can't, don't have eggs. Alright? They can't get pregnant. 
Did you have sex or masturbate while dressed as a boy? You had a dick. So if you didn't, then what? Then what? You don't act very feminine. And so forth and so forth and so forth. But that is... That is the article on bounding in the comics. And here is the Steam side. This is Turfenstein 3D. Alright. Released January 13th of this year. So not too long ago. Only 14 reviews and has a mixed score. Uh, you can purchase it for $4.99. That's US dollars. I'm not sure what the equivalents are outside the United States. But here it is. Alright. There's a description about this game, how we pretty much covered it, essentially, in the article, and so forth. So basically, yeah, revenge, fantasy, people. Revenge, fantasy. Pure and fucking simple. I think deep down, this is exactly what this person would want to do, would love to do, if given the opportunity to do so. But at any rate, what are your thoughts down in the comments below? Uh, what do you think of this game article? Do you agree with the article? Do you disagree with the article? Uh, are you at all morbidly interest peaked in this Turf Turfenstein 3D game for five bucks on Steam? Let me know all that fun stuff down in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Share on social media if you will. I'll be live later tonight on Twitch not Twitch, YouTube, for The Cringe Factory, about 8 p.m. Eastern, and got plenty of topics to talk about, so tune in for that. We cover, again, the litany of cringe throughout the week, and we don't even cover half of it, pretty much, because there's always week in and week out, plenty of cringe to cover, but so tune in for that, 8 p.m. Eastern. This is Mara Jade, catch you on the dark side, and... All I can say is this person is fucking certifiable and how is this person not in a fucking straitjacket right now? Holy shit.